Hi everyone, it's Sue. Um, welcome to sunny Queensland. Um, it's cold, miserable, dark and rainy today. I mean, we need the rain so it's nice, but the day that I wanted to film my after um, video of my studio, it decides to be dark and rainy. So I'm going to do it anyway and hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad. So this is the entryway to my craft space. We can actually enter my craft area um, without actually going through the rest of the house, which is really good. That's our front door. So come on in and I'll show you what I've done. So I'll just close the door. Okay, so here we have it. Um, so this is, if you saw my before video, this is the um, little alcove I've got, oak, alcove, sorry, I've got of pigeon holes. Um, so what I've done is I've tried to keep all this here um, sewing related and all this side here is um, paper craft journal related. Um, so I've tried to label everything as best I could. Um, so these are all, you know, like embroidery thread, threads, um, projects that I'm working on, haberdashery, bag handles, felt, anything sewing, really. Um, I have got a few spaces left, which is always good. Um, there's my beautiful big vintage pin cushion here. I love this. A friend of mine made this for me. Um, it fits all sorts of like all your little tools and pins and I actually have two the other one I haven't unpacked at the moment so I normally like to have one one when I'm sewing and one near my on my um, ironing board so up here um, these containers aren't labeled because I know that they're um, thickers sort of thicker those two this one and these two are just random fabrics that I'd like to try and use up in journals first um, I've got the heater on because it's freezing in here. Um, so this beautiful little painting here is from my three-year-old nephew, Felix. He made that for me, painted that for me. So I've put it, put it there so that when I'm sitting at my desk, I can look at that and always think of him. Um, and I don't know which is the best orientation to do this, guys. But, um, so that's the other side of that little alcove. And this is all... Um, paper craft journal related so same thing I've got um, you know everything labeled um, just to show you through a bit of an idea patterns for journals you know photo photocopy weight paper chipboard file folders cards um, tissue paper serviettes um, trims sorry I'm a bit breathless breathless because I'm still not 100% well so um, lace yeah you get the idea anyway the, these couple of um, containers here are empty as well but I'm sure they won't be empty for for too long down here is my um, this is all my personal journaling I've got um, you know photos and my personal journal that sort of thing so I can just pull that basket out put it side, beside my desk and get stuck into it when I want to. This little container here is um, just my commonplace book where I put all my quotes and I've got some stickers and bits and pieces in there that I want to use in that as well. So same thing, I can just pull that out and stick it on my desk without having to go rummaging around everything. So when you first come in the door, um, you walk towards this cupboard. I've got some of my gorgeous friend Monica from Green Kitten Art, some of her prints up there just to inspire me and I just love her artwork, what she does. These little um, cards are just from Ikea. I just thought that were cute. I love anything nature floral, so I've just stuck them up as well. I'm hoping to fill the whole two doors with um, inspiration and both sides as well. So in this cupboard, what I've done here is I've just put um, all my, um, what do you call them? Di dies yep <laughs> Sizzix dies sorry um, and these two containers have embossing folders in them 
um, these are all my dies as well. I want to get a couple of baskets or something just to sort of make them a little bit tidy. I have just haven't um, done anything about that yet. Um, and then these three shelves here, um, these containers are full of um, either wood, wood mounted stamps or acrylic stamps and I've got them all in themes so that one's nature and botanical um, that one is not labeled oh that's because that one um, are either new stamps or stamps that I was using and I haven't put back in the right container yet so but they're all all labeled so that's keep all them there um, just spinning around here that's my desk there on the other end of my desk I've just got down here um, that box is just full of Christmas papers, ephemera, um, and just my laminator and, and pouches there. This rest called trolley. Um, so it's all full of um, ephemera and tags and that sort of thing that I've made, ready to go into journals. At the moment, it's just been thrown in there. I will sort that out as well. Um, and then I've just got more, um, they're all like envelopes on, and tucks that I've cut, ready to go into journals. And then I've got some bits and pieces of tags and smaller tags and um, uh, what do you call them, crochet doily type things in containers in the bottom. So I'll just come around here. So this little corner, this alcove is really dark at night time or on a day like today. So I might have to try and set up a um, light or something in there. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that, but I mean, it's, it's okay for me. So, and this is stuff that I don't use, you know, like every time I craft. So if I do come in here, it's just, I know what I want and I can just grab it. So um, I'll just go in here quickly. I've just got, you know, everything labeled so that I know where it is, you know, it's like a die cuts in that one, um, index cards and journaling cards, you know, that type of thing. So it's all, I've got a heap of them there as well. These are all my metal um, bits and pieces and some beads, um, you know, buttons. Um, that one, I don't even know what is in that one. I can't remember. This is just a card um, box full of greeting cards. Um, I've got my punches up there, my sort of machine, um, and these are wood veneers. These couple of containers up here are empty. Once again, probably not for long. Um, so in these little cupboards here in this unit, I've got all my extra glues and mediums, tapes, that sort of thing in there. This is just another container that I've got full of bits and pieces for my um, personal journaling. Um, just some pleather in that container there. Um, in this door here, I've just got some um, sewing tools, um, rotary cutters, extra scissors. These scissors in here need to be sharpened. So that's why they're in the pouch. Um, so over here, I've got cork and hessian, some book covers. So books that were discarded and I've used the insides, but I like the covers. So I've just kept them separate. These two pouches are f um, have um, bits and pieces for my fabric. Um, embroidered postcards that I make. I haven't done any of them for a while, so I have to get back into those. Um, in this one is just the sort of coils, and um, so I've just got all the coils in there, and the metal rims for the those metal rim tags, um, and the machine. I don't, I don't know what you call it. Sorry. Um, these are just um, some of my art journaling books. I do have more, and I think I've got them out in my little um, sitting area. These are just um, some tags and um, paper ruffles, and just bits and pieces that need to be sorted really. And this cupboard's just got extra pouches and bags, um, you know, like your sheet protectors, extra pouches for storage, that sort of thing. So I've just, you can always use them. So I've just given them their allocated space. Oh, sorry, just getting up off the ground. Um, so these baskets, this one has something in it. That's a tutorial, some bits and pieces for a tutorial that I want to do soon. Um, so these baskets will just be for projects that I'm doing so that they're all kept separate. 
Um, I've just got the Kazaz catalog there because I like their stamps. Not that I need any more after you've seen how many I've got in my cupboard. Um, these four little cubes, well, four big cubes, are full of fabric scraps. So I'm going to work hard on trying to use all those. Come around here and I've got these two metal shelves. So up here I've got um, my paints and paint brushes, an extra sewing machine, there's some mixed media, um, crayons, that sort of thing. Um, over here is um, some more stamps, um, more paints up there, and these are tubs are full of fabrics. So as I said, and I hope I'm not continually repeating myself, I do um, a lot of sewing and patchwork and quilting as well, so that's why I've got so much fabric. Um, so this tub here is full of books that I want to use in journals and this isn't even a quarter of what I own um, but these are the ones that I want to try and work on getting through first um, I have these drawers here as well so they're all labeled and full of bits and pieces um, I'm not gonna bore you with all those details um, up the top here I've just got um, pre-cuts of fabric and some black and white because I want to do a quilt for myself in black, whites and greys and a red and white tub. Um, these are fabric. These are actually journal related, those two there. Um, and these are fabric as well. There's my naughty dog. Um, so going over to this corner, um, so I've got these great stands here. Um, there's two units there, one on top of the other. They're from Kmart. Um, they're 12 and a half inches squared, so they're really good. So I've got all bits and pieces in there. That basket on top is just full of laces and bits and pieces that I'm going to be kitting up soon that will be coming into my shop. Um, this little container up here has got golden books in there. And these are all fabric as well. So I'll just pan around. That's just um, some, I don't even know what you call that, but it's, um, they use them to draft patterns, that paper, that card. So it's really good for inside journals to make them sturdy. So this area, whole area, that's where all the fun is. That's where all the fun happens over there. That's my desk. Um, so this is all pretty much um, dedicated to journaling and paper craft. Um, so as I said, I've got the heater on at the moment, it's freezing. Um, this room is just, it's so big and it, um, but all it needs is just two, a two bar heater just to take the chill off. So, um, and big fan up there for summer. Um, so I've got um, these all labeled as well. So I've got lots of trims and rosette trims. These are paper ruffles that I've made and, and in the top tray are tags that I've made. I've got pianola rolls, easy fix cork fabric. These are all just um, printed tags. Um, and these are um, just coffee dyed tags and doilies that I've done. Um, these containers I came across at Kmart. Love them. And they're perfect for um, signature pages. So I've got some signature pages that I've, you know, pre-done. Um, you know, like these ones I've sewn ruffles on. So if I do a, a floral or a, a nature journal, I can go to this drawer and just grab them out. So I've got them all sorted in there. Um, these, the, the next one is um, scrapbooking paper. As you see in the back there is music paper. Um, this is all coffee dyed signatures that are, have been cut and folded to the size of journal that I normally like to do. And then in the back is um, digital print pages so um, I'll be sort of adding to them once I get back into doing everything it doesn't that it, it annoys me when they put the labels on um, things at the front and you can't get it off so I've got to find my eucalyptus oil and try and get that off so down on this shelf here um, I've just got wrapping paper just random bits and pieces there this one I've got I can't remember what I've got. Oh, that's right. I've got in that one, I've got um, some fabric washi that I'm working on at the moment. Um, this little container here has got custom forms and bits of packaging and some 
pouches and some spine templates for binding, bits and pieces like that. This is a full hank of um, sari silk in bright colours. This one is for my sari silk in natural colours, which I have no idea where it is in all this unpacking. I haven't found it, so I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, in this one, I've just got two containers with nothing in them. This folder, I'm going to be putting um, just little bits of pieces of ephemera that I've made. I've got some trims here that I, I want to use. I've got some beautiful packaging here that I'll probably end up using in my personal journaling. But this is from Rachel from Roxy Creations. We did a swap and that's what um, my journal came wrapped in, which is beautiful. And some brown packaging there as well. And in this one here, I've got um, some papers, you know, like grid grid pads, lined paper, that sort of thing um, to use as well. And these two containers down here are doilies, um, linens and um, some fabric that I have specifically put aside that I want to use in journals as well. So come to the next shelf and up the top I've just got a spare light there. Um, I've got a whole heap of um, first day covers that I'll be using in journals. This little basket is just full of um, covers that I've started. I'm so sorry if I'm jiggling this around too much. Um, I don't think you can even see. <clears throat> just covers that I've started and then lost um, inspiration with and what have you, but you know, I don't want to throw them away, so they're all in there for me to grab when when creativity hits so I'll put that up the top so in here I've got um, more trims <laughs> an empty box um, these are covers that I've made and backed with cardstock all they really need to be done is um, be stitched around to secure and decorate a little bit more ready to be done um, copy paper which I've aged um, scrap paper so that's mainly mainly coffee dyed scrap paper. Um, these two little A4 containers are really good. They're um, they're got nothing in them. I don't think at the moment. Or have they? I oh, know they have. They've got um, some stitched pages that I've done or that are ready to be stitched, which will also be going on my Etsy. Um, and this is coffee dyed and lined paper and coffee dyed bits and pieces, as in index cards, tags, that sort of thing. Um, on the next shelf, this is really disgusting. This is all um, 12 inch scrapbook paper, all of that. So I need to really get stuck in and use it. These are stamps that I sell on my website that I have already and I wanna do some projects using those. Um, this is, um, can't even see what's in there. Oh, there's some journals and um, ephemera bits and pieces that I've been working on, so I've just kept them separate. And down the bottom here are all Project Life cards, so there I need to start delving into them because where I was before, um, I had them tucked away and I forgot about them. So I'll just put these um, trolleys back. So these are um, trolleys also from Kmart. Um, so in them, I've labelled all of them. I've still got some here that I'm going to be putting things in. But I've got the likes of, um, you know, metal bits and pieces, just so that they're handy, so I don't have to keep going back into that alcove and, and getting everything. These are just some um, inks that I use all the time. And my blocks, um, my crocodile and all the eyelets, just that sort of thing, you get the idea. In here are punches, punches that I use a lot. Um, these are um, my fussy cut bits and pieces so these are these little containers I've got the pieces that I've already fussy cut um, and then books or pages that I want to fussy cut so they're all they all just fit in there um, my book binding tools my book binding I'm not sure what you call that, but I got that from Kerry at Witchcraft Do You Do. I, if I remember, I'll put the link down there. It's made my life so much easier since I bought that. Um, these are just some floral and vintage die cuts 
that I tend to go to all the time. So I've just got them all set up in there and um, dyed cheesecloth and muslin and that sort of stuff all in there. And then these are all blank. Trusty tape measure. So it's at hand all the time. Um, just some happy mail. Um, and this is just a... To be quite honest, I got to the end of the craft room and I'm just like, I'm exhausted. All that can just go in there. I don't know what to... It's scraps, bits and pieces. So I'll work through that and use that up as well. This is um, an empty box. And in here I have my watercolours and um, a mixture of black pens that I like to use all the time. So they're just sitting on there. And a straight, straight edge if I want to use a mat and cut some fabric for my journals. So as I said, this is where... All the fun happens over here. So down here I've got um, two wire baskets and they are absolutely chock-a-block full of cardstock and a little bit of pattern paper. So I need to get in and use them. These are some current ranges that I've bought that I'd like to use either in my personal journaling or maybe do a journal. And this bag just houses some um, more personal bits and pieces that I've just tucked in the back there. Um, this um i just don't i love this i just don't want to get rid of it so i'm thinking i'm just going to leave it here and it's beside my big shot so when i hoping to you know do um a fair bit of cutting out i can just put them all in there so they're not just lying around everywhere and then i can go to there to find the die cuts that i've done i've just set up all my inks here this is my apron that i made so just if i decide i want to get messy with sprays and that that's handy um, it's just some coffee and some water sprays there. Um, the good old baby wipes, um, distressings, distress paints, sprays, a big shot as I said. Um, these are a couple of calendars that I've got and I'm keen to either fussy cut them or use them as journal covers. Um, my beautiful machine that I got for Christmas. I absolutely love it. This is my paper crafting um, sewing machine and down here is my good quilting machine. So it's sitting down there for when I'm ready, ready to make um, something with just fabric. Um, in this corner I've just got, um, in this tub here, I've got bits and pieces of paper, printables, um, pattern paper that I want to cut up and sew into tags. Um, these two pouches here are um, chock-a-block full of fabric strips that I want to make into ruffles, which um, uh, I have done some here. So that's another um, lot of things that will be going into my Etsy shop. Some packs, ruffle packs, if you're interested. Um, hoping I, I've got all these ideas I hope I get to have the motivation to um to follow through just my iPod dock there um we have a sound bar and we normally bluetooth our music to our tv so it's mainly just as a charger for my phone um and this is just some um scrap a scrap um bin for all my scrapbook um papers scrap scrapbook papers and I normally do my um stitch pages out of there got my printer set up here here I've got some go-to papers and books for signatures um, and just the photocopy paper here these are all my eight inch and six inch paper patterns um, and down here I've just got some more go-to papers my Edith Holden books um, some vintage books there that Rachel from Roxy Creations sent me there's another little bird book there that I'll fussy cut out and and this is just some random scraps of fabric that I'll probably do some um, crazy covers with there. Um, okay, so going over here, I just bought this the other day, so it hasn't been um, fully set up yet, but as you can see, I've labeled everything with craft um, labels there. So I've got, you know, um, labels, tabs, ring reinforcements, miniature pockets and, um, envelopes, you know, hitch, um, what do you call them? Hitch posts, um, you know, Tim Holtz mini clips, gold paper clips, silver paper, yeah, anyway, you get the idea. This is, um, 
This is some beautiful wallpaper pockets that I got from Sarah at the Mushroom Market. I've got them there because I want to remember I've got them and use them. Um, I managed, I found these flip flaps from um, close to my heart that I had bought. I thought they might actually go well in some journals as well. So these are just things that I want to use. But there's also um, templates that I've done of stuff that I've made, like my Hessian pockets. Um, I've got a tutorial on that if you haven't seen that and you want to go and see it, you know, like just tags that, I mean, I've got so many tags now, but just they're handy to have if you want to, if you've got a scrap of paper and you want to um, cut something out. So this is just um, obviously my light and I've just, on the neck of the light, I just put my book, book binding tape, um, carpet tape, masking tape, double sided tape, my glues, smaller glues, hand cream which I put on constantly, rulers, and these are my idea with books. I put them close there so that if I have an idea, I, I write it down. It's messy in there, you don't want to see. But if I don't write it down, I forget. So this little cabinet here has um, a little bit more of Monica's art sitting on the top there. That little pink book there has, um, I keep a record of inventory of what inks and that I have so I don't double up. Um, and then on this little bulldog clip I've just put a ring and I've got um, tassels on there to put on um, safety pins uh, no not safety pins paper clips so I've just got my heat tool there um, these some of these um, spools will be going on Etsy um, these are some stamps that I want to use some more um, baby wipes these are inks that I use all the time so they're um, right beside me where I work just a glass case and my remote control for my Huge big TV that I use as my computer screen. Oh, and that's my camera setup where I normally work And that's where I normally work here. So at the moment I've got um, My design team project that I'm trying to work on for Chevy Dabby Duda and that's what That's one of those baskets that I said. So these are just some fabrics that I want to use in that journal as well um, it's just my bin, just another lamp that I haven't got on at the moment and that beautiful journal there was a swap that I did with Liz from Liz the Paper Project. I will actually be filming that this week sometime and getting that uploaded. I've got this beautiful, I think it's a cutlery holder from um, TK Maxx um, and it's just, it's perfect for all. I've got scissors, mainly scissors um, and staples in there. Um, miscellaneous tools there and then I've got pens, aqua pens, that sort of thing as well. Um, just my mini little Fiskars cutter which I love using just for when I'm making ephemera, so digging out the big one. And this amazing tray my sister found at an op shop and I said to her if she finds, ever finds any more to grab them. So, sorry, I'm really not very good at this. I'm just trying to show you that each tray, each piece comes out separately. So if I want those, I can stick them on my desk without having to, you know, pull the whole, whole tray over. So this has just got bits and pieces of um, all sorts. So um, this is, you know, like packaging that I've cut and I thought that I could make something with. This is um, some ephemera bits that I've started as well. So, yeah, it's all, you know, random, random bits and pieces. Um, you know, some of these, like a dollar, I've picked up at garage sales and that sort of thing. I've got, um, you know, vintage stickers. I, I liked the tin. I just didn't want to take it out of the tin. Um, vintage labels. Um, got that at a garage sale as well. So, you know, just random bits and pieces like that. So, on the top of this, um, this trolley here that I got from Officeworks. So, that's my bin. Um... I've got these containers that I also got from Kmart, which I think are shadow boxes normally. So I've got like lots of Tim Holtz bits and pieces in there. Um, blank tags, pay envelopes, um, envelopes, index cards, some coffee dyed ones, ready to grab and decorate for ephemera. In this side, I've got, um, you know, like Project Life cards that I don't want to use as they are, so I've just put in there used to cut or cover. Um, these ones are to be used for um, pockets. Um, these are some die cuts that I've cut. Um, and then just some random tags and bits and pieces to go in um, 
to go in journals. So, um, so yeah, so that's basically my work desk. Sorry, I'm a little bit breathless because I'm still not 100% well fighting this wog that we've had. It's been over a week now and I get exhausted when I do anything. So in this desk here, I'll just show you... Um, these are, I've got laces on spools here and torn fabric on spools. Same here. I um, So these are like I'll go to them first to use in my journals. Down here I've got, um, this is all fabric and lace snippets like little bits and pieces. Um, words, printed words that I've cut out in tins there. Um, and that one, that one there has got stamped images that I've cut out. Now under my desk here I've got... Um, in this box here I've just got bits and pieces that I've started that I need to finish these are stamps that I've been using a lot of so I've just put them there and then in here I've just got um, some plastic containers uh, plastic sleeves um, this one I think's got yeah tissue paper in it um, and the other ones have got like bigger scraps of um, uh, what do you call it um, pattern paper that sort of thing and then on this side, um, these are some, these are ephemera pieces that I have made, started making for my Etsy store. So I just had to pack them up when I moved. So they're all sitting there, cut, ready to be decorated and made. So I put them there so that they're there and I can grab them. And then that's all the messy cords. Um, and these drawers are pretty much a mess. <laughs> Um, as I said, I'm so exhausted in the end. I just went, oh, I don't know where to put it. I'll just put it there. This is um, actually my sister's book. I'm looking at um, one day making her an Alice in Wonderland journal. So, And I have never, to be quite honest, never seen the movie or read the book, How Disgusting Is That? I know the basic story, but I, I grabbed that off her to sort of get a little bit of an idea um, just so I could do a little bit of um, research into my journal for her. So these are a couple of circle punches that I use regularly, just some extra sticky tape, an extra pen, um, some money. I don't know why I've got money in there, but these are just for um, when I use the alcohol inks and glove. These are just some um, vintage buttons that I've popped in there as well. Um, this second drawer is pretty much the same. So these are just some pill boxes that I got from Daiso. Daiso. Um, I just thought they might come in handy for um, little bits and pieces I want to have at my desk. Um, these are just some little baskets full of random bits and pieces that I, I still need to probably go through. Uh, and these, um, I just lost everything out the back there. These are just some bits and pieces that I have fiddled around making um, and I want to make more of. But I just sort of had an idea and just thought, oh, well, I'll make one and see how um, see how it goes and then I've just got some notes on there for tutorials that I want to do um, these are just some ruffles that I've made these are the verses that I put on the back of my um, fabric embroidered postcards and what is that oh they're just tags that I've left that I've cut out of um, leftover scrapbooking paper instead of just putting in my scrap box I've just cut tags out of them so they just need to basically be backed with copy dyed paper and some the journals that's that and then in this one here I've got oh, that's, that's got to go out. that in there um, in this drawer here I've got um, like a heap of printables that I need to cut and sort into their um, who I got them from. I've got, you know, like business cards. I was making my own business cards, but I have actually reordered some more off um, Moo. Um, these are just stamped images that I've stamped that I want to cut out. Um, you know, like I've got some botanical pieces that I've cut out that go in. So these are all themes, botanical from magazines. So I've just got to be really careful with um, those. They're probably more for my personal journaling. Um, you know, butterflies, um, public domain images, just to give you a bit of an idea. Um, so yeah, so these are some printables that I've cut and I've put in 
so that I know who they are so I can credit them when I use them. So, you know, Yvonne Preston, um, Geek Girl Designs from, from, what's the site, from Scrap Girls. Um, yeah, that sort of thing. So words, more words that I've printed that haven't been cut. Um, and my design team project will also go in there, but it's all just sitting on my desk at the moment because that's what my next project will be. Um, on the shelves on this trolley here, I've got, um, I've just got these scissors on a um, retractable piece here. So they're always handy to have sometimes, you know, when you're looking for scissors, you can't find them. So I just have them hanging there on that hook. So here I've got my big um, industrial guillotine and then my Tim Holtz cutter that I like to use all the time. Um, anything smaller, I use my Fiskars small one there. Um, my scoreboard and all my um, envelope board and that sort of thing are there. Um, here is just um, satin seam binding that I use on my tag. So I've got all different colors in there and I just, I grab that and just go through that and use that. That's what I use um, on my tags. And these containers here are more, um, you know, safety pins, uh, not safety pins, I keep calling them safety pins, paper clips and that sort of thing that I can grab, but I will sort some of those into um, that new um, drawer system that I've bought over there so that they're all, you know, I can just go reach left and right and um, I just think that I'll be more productive that way so that's that um, and this beautiful cabinet which I absolutely love and I used to have it in my bedroom but um, I've still got to finish sorting all this so this is mainly washi tape um, it's just as I said I've got to sort it because it's all getting it's all messed up um, so yeah it's just full of washi tapes um, and flowers on different paper flowers, that sort of thing on this side. So I will label all those once I get them sorted, but I don't use them all the time. Um, I'd like to try and make sure that I do use them more. So I will get to those and label them. So guys, that is my workspace. I'm so lucky to have such a huge space. We only rent, but um, when we saw this place, we just went, yep, it's perfect. Perfect. So. Um, hopefully you will see a lot more tutorials and lots more bits and pieces being made um, so I just wanted to film this um, before I messed it up so it's pretty tidy at the moment so once I start working though it's not going to look like this I can assure you so what I thought I'd just do quickly is um, so this is heading out this is into the rest of our house um, so that's our lounge room nice and cozy check this out I bought this this morning at a market love it it's going to go in my office um, where I do um, all my book work and packaging and that sort of thing so $35 I paid for that it's an absolute bargain um, I just wanted to share with you my little sitting space with all my um, my beautiful chair um, and this beautiful cabinet that I bought especially for all my journals um, so I haven't used it yet but my idea is to hopefully sit here one day and you know relax and go through my journals maybe sit here and journal myself um, so these are all journals that have been hand made by myself or I've got in swaps or purchased um, and I'm a bit of a stationary addict as you can see so that just houses all, all of them um, so that's basically my craft space. Next time I'll show you when I've got my office completely sorted, I will show you that. So thanks for watching guys. And um, I, as I said, I have a couple of flip throughs of journals that I've um, been in with swaps. I have to get them filmed and uploaded. I've got some tutorials um, that I want to get done. And um, I've got, as I said, my design team project that is due by the end of June. So I'm working, that's my next item that I'm working on. So I'll leave it with you guys. Thank you so much for going through um, my space. I'm really happy with it and I'm really keen to get, get creative. So hopefully I'll see you again soon and take care. Bye-bye.